and hello everyone welcome back to another NIM tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at tuples now tuples are very similar to arrays in the fact that it has a fixed size that you provide it but unlike arrays and sequences tuples can contain multiple types so it doesn't just have to be of type string or type number. So if a sequence, let's say we have x and that is equal to a sequence of one, two, and in quotation marks three. Nim doesn't like this. As you can see, got string, but expected int literal. Now Nim doesn't like this. Same with normal arrays. It doesn't like this. So if we hover over x, it says it's an array of type int, not of type string. So if you need something where you can store multiple data types and do something similar, but not quite exactly, but similar to an array, then a tuple is the way to go. So let's create a tuple. Here we can create first tuple. And this tuple, let's define how it will look. So we use brackets for this. It will contain a string and then a float. And it will be equal to, and then we use brackets again, cat and 12.5. This is our first tuple. We can even echo it out. So echo first tuple. If we were to run this, then we get cat 12.5. If we were to say tuple at index zero and run it, we get cat. If we say at index one, just like with an array, we will get 12.5. Now tuples aren't just as basic as this. They can become rather complex. For example, example tuple. And now here, so we're specifying this is going to be a tuple, but now we can also specify named places for these tuples. So name string and an age int. So we're specifying this tuple will contain a string and an integer, and they will have named properties. So this one will be a name and this one will be an age. Now we can go here and we can just say Luke and 59. So as you can see here, we have a tuple and it has Luke and 59 as its value. Now if we were to display example, you'll see we actually get name and age here. But that makes you wonder, what if you were to say index zero now? Well, then you will get Luke. So it will still work as a normal tuple where you can still use indexes, but now you're also allowed to go dot name. And that will also give you Luke or dot age. And that will give you the age. So then you don't have to use indexes you can just use the word. And of course, you don't need to specify the tuple as you create it. So like this, it would be perfectly fine. However, if you run it, you'll just get empty values. As one last example, let's create a tuple called pet. And this tuple will not have any values provided to it, but it can be the animal, the breed, and then if it is a cool type of animal, which of course is a Boolean, this is a string, and this is a string. There we go. Now here we can just say pet at index zero. So now we're selecting the pet at its zero of index, which would be animal. And let's say it becomes cat. If we were to echo out pet, and let's actually go pet that and that animal, then we don't have to worry about the other things. If we echo that out, we will get cat. We can also go pet dot name here, and that will also assign, and that should be animal, and that will also assign this value to that index. As you can see, we still get cat. Thanks to this, we can now go like this. I don't know any cat breeds, so I'm going to go dog make the husky 
and yeah that's pretty cool so let's go true so animal or pet dot cool and here it's pet dot breed and let's go animal instead of animal let's go in zero just so we have an example of that now if we were to run and display pet we will get what we expect so this is just assigning it on the next lines so you don't have to assign it right there and you can also assign it using indexes or using named indexes and that's the basics of tuples they're incredibly simple but incredibly powerful thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all again in the next nim tutorial